morning folks, Kevin from Whirling Vapors here again. Um, today I thought, I've got this on, on loan, so well today I thought I'd uh, I'd show you the uh, uh, Aspire Atlantis and the uh, um, the sub-ohm, carbon fibre sub-ohm battery that uh, um, sort of comes, well it doesn't come with it but I mean they're separate units sold separately um, so let's go down to the table and uh, I'll go through them then we'll come back up and I'll give them a bit of a give them a bit of a puff and uh, you can uh, see what they function like okay all right here we are down at the table um, what can I say about this battery I mean it's uh, it is it it is what it is. It's a giant uh, Ego battery. It's got a 2000 mAh battery in there, which uh, um, greatly helps with uh, the, the power side of things. Um, on the bottom there, as you can see, it's got the, uh, um, uh, what do they call them, venting holes, I suppose, um, just in case the battery inside decides it's going to vent. I've never actually had one of those happen uh, to me. This is the... Uh, um, well, I think they call this the grey one, although it looks more black than grey. Um, yeah, they do come in a couple of colours, or the three colours, I believe. It's uh, the, the, the blue, red, and uh, and this one. As you can see on there, it's got the uh, Aspire logo, CF sub, um, with the OMS um, insignia there. Um, on and off switch. One, two, three, four, five to turn off. One, two, three, four, five to turn back on. Um, it's uh, it, this is fully charged. So I mean, it's um, it's it's blue at the moment. Um, I believe it goes to white. I haven't actually had it down as far as that yet to recharge it up. So um, don't take my word on that. It might be a different colour. I don't know. Um, but what can I ask can I say? It fits nice in your hand. Um, it has actually got um, one of those... Oh, it's got a spring-loaded uh, centre pin in there, which is brilliant for uh, tanks that, uh, that haven't got springs on them. Um, it was made, um, so I understand, uh, specifically to complement the... Uh, the Aspire Nautil, uh, sorry, the Aspire Atlantis, which we'll get on to in a second. Um, yeah, no. What else can I say about this? It feels great in the hand. Um, it's a battery. It's pure and simple, just a battery. Right now we get on to the uh, uh, the Atlantis itself. Now I must apologise because I filled this up just prior to uh, to starting this uh, this review, uh, which was silly of me. I should have uh, uh, filled it up while I was doing the review but never mind anyway it's got a, re a removable drip tip um, I believe the circumference of the uh, the mouthpiece is eight millimeters it uh, tapers right down I believe to six millimeters um, the uh, air airflow holes um, Number one is comparable to the Nautilus. Uh, number two is slightly bigger. Number three is like a slot, so it's probably three joined together, like you know. Um, and number four, wide open, it is just a wide open slot. It's humongous. Um, let's uh, undo it because I want to show you this um, this coil. I was at a coil head. I was absolutely amazed by the size of it. Um, let's pop that there so I don't knock it over. But, uh, if I take this out of here, I'm going to get liquid all over my hands now. That's going to be nice, isn't it? Um, I was absolutely amazed when I saw this um, coil head. It is humongous. Um, compared to the uh, the BVC coils that, Nautilus, uh, that uh, Aspire do for the Nautilus, it's uh, well, they're about it's about four times as big, I think. Anyway, that's uh, that's that. Let's let's just pop that back in there. Of course, it comes um, 
it comes preloaded from uh, Aspire anyway. Um, I believe you get a, 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 a spare um, coil in the uh, in the pack. Um, the uh, the actual base it screws into, as you can see, it's got this like a silica um, stop ring, which uh, stops the juice from uh, coming out, obviously. Um, yeah, that's good. It's uh, it's wonderful. Right, okay. So, let's just tidy that up a little bit. <laughs> right, um, onto the, the, uh, the Atlantis itself. So, uh, so I'm told... Um, these uh, uh, this uh, uh, Pyrex tank, um, you do get a spare Pyrex tank in the box. Now I haven't got the box because, as I said earlier on, this is a loaner to me. Um, as far as I've read up, it's a pull-out, push-in jobby. Um, it's got a bit. It's not very big actually. The tank it will only hold two mil of e-liquid, um, which is a bit of a pain in the uh, in the debris. What's it? But uh, still, there you go. It is what it is. When you fill it up, um, are, can you see those? Uh, um, not, well, they're like turrets, aren't they? Uh, if you fill it up to the space in between the turrets, don't go over that because uh, it will drip down and come out of your mouthpiece, which again is a pain in the what's it? Like I. I personally think they should have made those turrets a, a bit larger or a bit larger tank or or something but uh, well there you go anyway let's pop that back together uh, it's just a simple matter of screwing your coil into the bottom and then screwing it back into the uh, into the tank itself right now come on in there you go right so it's all screwed up now um, I don't know whether you can see that on there but the tank actually holds the Aspire logo or the word Aspire written on it um, right now a uh, bit of safety warning for you don't try and fire this on an Ego battery um, it's got to be fired on a hydrogen battery uh, because well, otherwise you, you, the battery might vent and explode or uh, in some cases I've heard the people put them on the Ego batteries it's not firing at all other people I've heard of uh, have put it on there and it's exploded but uh, there you go right anyway so this is the uh, this is the pair of them together yeah, so, you know it's uh, it is a nice little unit I mean it, it the tank looks right on the battery. That's that's one of the big points that I uh, I, I look for. Um, it does actually look right on the battery. Um, let's go back up top, and I'll uh, I'll toot it for you on the various airflow settings, and uh, well, perhaps try another uh, another mod with it. Yeah. Okay. See you in a minute. There we go, folks. It's. Uh what we we're talking about the uh, Aspire Nautilus at the moment. Right, let's uh, let's start off on the first uh, um, airflow hole. As you can see, the uh, the vapor <coughs> that I get from this from that one is is comparable to the Nautilus, um, which is you know, great. Um, let's see if I can. Number two. Yep, yeah, number two. A bit more vapor. It's, uh, I actually like this. It's uh, this is this next one. It's not tough to to put them around. I just turning it around so that if you turn it to the right it tends to loosen the tank on the uh, on, on the on the battery so what I do is I, uh, I I'm now turning it to the left so um, anyway this is the third setting this is a setting that I generally leave it on anyway because it, having it on the wide open setting is just a little bit too much for me um, so here we go that's what I'm used to 
Um, incidentally, the uh, <coughs> the juice that I've got in there is um, uh, well, it's a peach based peach based juice. I've just added extra glycerin to it uh, uh, to make it uh, um, a bit more th thicker. I don't like these thin juices. Um, right onto the uh, onto the fourth setting, which is the uh, the wide open setting. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. As I say, it's a wee bit too much for me. But uh, the battery forms uh, the battery uh, performs um, very well. Um, fully charged um, it's just like token on an 18650 um, yeah I mean there's no rattle that you can hear there it's just the fire button which is eh, I wouldn't say it's loose but uh, it's fine um, yeah no the tank itself is actually quite stable it looks right on that that uh, that battery right let's take it off of here and pop it on to I've only got a three that it'll fire on this one my emac and uh, my IPV three so uh, let's bung it on to the um, emac right now what have I got it set at What I no when I um, normally take this on uh, on here, if I do take it on here, I, I have it generally set to, to uh, 22 watts. Um, the actual tank itself, they recommend that it's uh, um, that uh, the power wattage going through the the tank itself is uh, between 20 and 30 watts so yeah well anyway I've got it set on 22 um, wide open Whew, that is uh, a lot of vapor let's bung it up to 30 the recommended uh, recommended toke <coughs> yeah um yeah that is an awful lot of vapor and of course the uh, that the uh, coil heads in there are uh, uh 0 0.6 um which is a sub um they they will go to uh, the uh, the battery the carbon fiber battery will accept anything down as far as um, 0 0.5 so eh, there you go anyway right let's try it on my IPv3 um, I've incidentally I've got a I've got a tutorial coming out about not a tutorial a review coming out about this. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it yet. <laughs> um, I've had the uh, had the mod for a, a few weeks now and been playing around with it, and I like it. Right, so now let's. Uh... Right, this is twenty two wide open. Um, let's let's have a go at that. As you can see, in fact, I think I've got more vapor from that than I did from my Emac. Um, certainly more than the, the carbon fibre battery, but uh, there you go. That's uh, that's 22 wide open. Let's. Uh, oh. Let's try it on 30, which is the recommended uh, maximum wattage for the tank. Whoa! <coughs> that uh, phew, phew, 
that is quite a lot of vapour for that. Um, I have tried putting it up as far as 50. Um, but anything over 30, the it it tends to taste burn, and I don't, I don't like the taste of burning, so, well, who would anyway, but, uh, well, there you go. So, that's, uh, that's on the IPv3. Let's put it back on the carbon fibre battery to go out on. Um, there we go, let's knock that down. More comfortable for me. There you go, yeah, that's a bit better. As I said, it's nice in the hand. The battery looks right upon the, uh, upon the, sorry, the tank looks better, looks more comfortable on the, uh, on the battery, and it fits nice in the hand. So, you know, I mean, I'm definitely going to get a set of these. I'm definitely going to get one of each, just to add to my collection, like, you know, um, most definitely to use on my IPV three um cost wise um they each go for for approximately 29 pound um in retail stores um if i have actually seen them down as low as uh, as 25 um on the internet unless one of them is is, is doing a, a special and then you might be lucky to get it a little bit less than that um, they're both American made at least that's what uh, at least that's what it says on the write up uh, about them let me uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. can't find it now yep yeah, it says uh, ah no I do beg your pardon the battery and the tank are both made in, in China but the wire for the uh, the coil is actually made in the states so well there you go and it uses the BVC technology um, compatible yeah yeah the coil is compatible for 20 to 30 watts so well yeah I got that right <laughs> oh dear okay anyway this is Kevin from Worthing Vapors wishing you all a bright and pleasant day stay safe and as Rip Trippers would say smoking is dead Vaping is the future. Great guy, that. I'm waiting for him to uh, uh, start rebuilding these because I wouldn't mind giving that a go myself. Uh, rebuilding the coils. Um, but I'd rather watch somebody else do it first and attempt to do it myself. Chicken that I am. There you go. Anyway, cheers for now. You stay safe, guys. A quick just a quick acknowledgement sorry about that Rob um, thanks very much for the loaner and I'll get this one back to you ASAP my friend cheers for now bye